Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass, 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 and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And I am finally back from vacation. Sick. Yeah. Um, I arrived home. Well, actually, no, like the last two days of my cruise, I already feel, feel like my throat is a little bit itchy and stuff like that. I'm starting to get horsey. And yeah, my voice is telling me that my throat is going to have an infection, which is fine. Which is fine. I'll record some videos and continue to drink my Sarsapara with salt. Which is going to make it worse and all of a sudden better. Still got my taste bud, but yeah. I'll save that whole entire story about the cruise, people I met, and the lounge for another episode. But today, we are going to look at this um, Te Amo cigar. The yeah, well, oh, there was a huge hype about it. Everybody's talking about it, so I decided to go get one and see what this hype is about. I actually picked it up before the trip. I went on the trip. Now I come back. He's like, you know what? I'll do one of these Robusto. Not too bad yet. All right. So let's look at the cigar. Alta this USA made this cigar. Te amo. The original San Andreas Valley cigar. And this is a Verbuso size 5x54. MSRP 1039, box of 20. Um, so it's a peril all from San Andreas in Mexico, I guess. Or just Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Which is kind of weird because some website called this Habano San Andreas. Uh, it, it doesn't look as dark as San Andreas should have been. And, you know, if someone tells you, this is, uh, this is just a Habano cigar, you'll probably say, yeah, because the color is kind of bright. But you still have that characteristic of the San Andreas, like spotty darkness here and there. But these are outgrowing the San Andreas Valley, apparently. So we'll see uh, what that gets us. All right, let's get started. That's weird. It's like sweet, like marshmallowy, sweet smell. Okay. <clears throat> Even though it kind of sits in my basement, nothing there. I guess previous few days kind of wet. Oh, Ultra Lustra. Wow. Stinky barnyard earthiness. There we go. Stinky barnyard earthiness. Okay. <clears throat> Stinky barnyard earthiness. And grain, of course. The light up smell smells like, oh my God, what is that? Like a cereal wood. Okay, that's weird. Tastes like Habano. Tastes like Habano. Spicy, powdery, pepper. You know what I'm saying. Like when, when you smoke a habano, starts up like that. 
burn pepper, powderiness, cedar, leafy, a little bit of just bitter sourness, but like it's not really crazy. That pepper just the forefront. Tastes like habano. Doesn't taste like. Doesn't taste like Saint Andreas. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit bitterness. What in the world? A little bit of dankiness too. <clears throat> a little bit of stinkiness. A little bit leathery as well. That is weird. There's a lot of flavor, by the way. That's a lot of flavor. That's with me having itchy throat and Tylenol and sodas later. This thing has a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. That's weird. All right, let me smoke one third and I'll be right back. Okay, we're at first third. You know, it's not bad. It's about medium strength, um, but tastes like Habano. So this thing must be a Habano, some sort of Mexican Habano um, cigar. And you get that Habano taste, you get a little bit of that citrusiness. So it's like woody, peppery, citrusy, earthy and leathery, I want to call it. It's not like the Mexican San Andreas, like sour, dinky, coffee kind of thing. It's not like, it's weird. It's weird, but it's not bad. If that makes any sense. It's weird, but it's not bad. So yeah, second though, let's take a look at this band. Now, <clears throat> here you go. Camo. And you see that bottom part is the original San Andreas Valley cigar. Apparently that's the name of the cigar. Like, Teamo is the brand. But it's by by uh, out to this cigar USA, right? So Teamo brand, the cigar is called the original San Andreas Valley cigar. Okay, um, it does it does have um, an interesting band. I would say it's sim It's very simple. It's very simple, but like you can identify the cigar for a mile away. Like I know which one they're talking about. I know what they look like. It's weird. I don't know why. The box itself uh, looks like a cigarette box. <laughs> if you shrink that box down, that looks like a cigarette. So I don't know. Yeah. I guess good effort. Get the point through. Not too bad. So that's what we got. Now, second, third. Be right back. Second, third. Well, it's a good cigar, but that citrus. Like lying. It's just weird. <laughs> like I'm okay with the way it just be a a bono cigar. But that lime is like mm, yeah, okay, maybe if you're eating Mexican food like taco and stuff like that with some lime in there, it kind of works. But smoking on yourself, having that citrusy lime sourness is kind of kind of weird. Kind of weird. The rest is good. It's like habano. But it's not like a, it's not like a very flavorful cigar. It's just like you taste it. It's, it's earthy and leathery and pepper and then lime. Yeah, like I said, if I, I think if you're eating taco, drinking margarita, maybe, maybe it'll work. For me, just, just smoking it, it's just like, kind of like, mm, yeah, um, I don't know about that. Um, it's not a bad cigar, but it's, it's, a, it's a weird combination. So... Okay. Last stir. It's not a very long cigar, so last stir. I'll put this out. Hopefully by tomorrow. As a review. Running out of video. <laughs> so I'll be right back. All right, we're last stir. Without putting it anyway, if nobody tell you this is a St. Andreas cigar, Mexican San Andreas cigar, you probably will never know. If I never told you, you just think that this is a standard Habano. 
the 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 flavor is just the same throughout. It, it, it's relatively me mellow, so I, about medium strength. And the body is about mild to medium. I wouldn't say there's too much body. There's a lot of just the same flavor over and over with a little bit of lime-ish taste at the end. And so if I didn't tell you that it was it, you probably would not know that this was San Andreas cigar. It did not... They did not let the San Andreas stuff shine, you know? They just like, you know what? We're going to do a Habano in San Andreas and let people smoke that. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's a, it's a, <clears throat> it's a, it's a attempt to make something different. But because you attempt to make something different, it lost its originality, which made it shine. Right? It's like going to Dominican eat Chinese food. It doesn't taste like Chinese food. It's different. It doesn't taste good. Right? For me, it just tastes like, like a regular Habano with a little bit of lime at the end. Now, with that being said, this cigar is worth about seven and a half, eight dollars No, seven and a half to eight and a half, I guess. It's a little bit different, but it's still a relatively enjoyable Habano. But the pepper taste pretty much died down as it goes. And then all you get was just earthy, leathery, a little bit cedar, and lime. So there isn't that much to it. I, I see a few people like it, but I don't see a particular thing that makes me like this other uh, this other combination more than any other Habanos out there. I've smoked quite a bit of Habano that's way better than this and that really shines for Habanos. So... Um, I mean, I can smoke a regular Espinosa, I'd probably get more out of it than this. So, seven and a half, eight and a half. A little bit better than nothing. So, okay. So, that will be it for this cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, uh, and, and you know, check out our podcast, check out the, you know, all the other stuff. Now, this week, I'm going to catch up on videos, so you might see a little bit less videos. But, you know, I'll eventually catch up and so that everybody have every day. All right. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.